Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Debbie if we've not met before and I'm super excited for this video. I wanted to do this one since I got this product so let's just get straight into it. I'm going to show you all about the Urban Decay Game of Thrones Vault Collection. Uh, I'm going to show you how I got this eye look that I'm wearing right now and I've not purposely put on a lipstick or a blush or highlight so that we can use some of the products together on camera or choose lipstick to go with this look but I have pre-filmed the eye look um, and I'll put the tutorial of that up in a moment so before we get into it I'll just show you the box for the palette or the vault should I say it's a beast of a thing you can see how big it is next to me here I can't get it all into shot so what I am going to do is scooch you round so that I can put this onto the floor or on the carpet or whatever so that I can then focus on everything so that you can see it all in shot because it's going to be very difficult to do it otherwise so I'm just going to switch around to that show you what's inside and then we'll move on to the eye look and then as I say do the lipstick and and cheap products at the end of the video so if that all sounds good to you then please keep watching okay guys here's the vault open absolutely gorgeous packaging inside I mean Urban Decay have literally killed it with this collection and it's about time I think that they bought something out like this again. If you know anything about me you'll know that I love Urban Decay's collections like this so the Alice Through the Looking Glass is one of my absolute favourites. I'll link up in the cards the video that I did with all of my Urban Decay palettes but I have a lot of these special editions. Never bought a vault like this though I think they've absolutely sold themselves with how they've presented this. Now I have watched uh, Game of Thrones four series I think but I stopped at series four because I sort of fell into a YouTube vortex I only watching YouTube and that's all I really do these days and I don't have much time for a lot else and now with creating as well but I love the show I do need to catch up on the the rest of it if I'm honest so you've got the eyeshadow palette in here and it opens up and becomes the Iron Throne inside and then you can see there it says never forget what you are the rest of the world will not wear it like armour and it can never be used to hurt you and that's Tyrion Lannister so beautiful packaging it's excessively bulky of course but that's the the point of this collection really is that it's a collector's piece for people that either love the Urban Decay collections or love Game of Thrones or, or both so it is really bulky you've got all of the the map down the side that side as well but what is good is that you can take the palette completely out so you can discard the rest and then you've got quite a, a thin palette to work with so if you're using it on your beauty table or wherever else you're using it it's not too bulky to to maneuver about with it's set up in four sections so you've got the hard home winterfell king's landing and bay of dragons so the look that i've done today uh, i did exclusively just with this section here the winterfell section so that's the palette and then you've also got the highlighter palette in here so this is the the highlighter palette gorgeous packaging again the dragon sort of imprint on there is a little bit embossed and it has a, a mirror inside it's a nice mirror actually I think this might be good for me when I'm doing my YouTube filming but very good if you're traveling because you can see your eyes in it uh, really close up it's a good quality mirror but only really covers your eyes but there's the highlight shades inside they're absolutely stunning so the shade Drogon the pink one is the one that appeals to me but yeah the the only criticism that people have said and I have to agree is that nobody um, is going to be able to wear all three of these shades or it's very unlikely so there's going to be wasted product there which a you can use as eyeshadow I guess but I think how many people do that with a, a highlighter palette unless it's an inner corner highlight so I think for me it's going to be the pink highlight that's going to get the use but it is gorgeous and it, it's small enough to 
to travel with. Then you've also got this product, which I've got nothing like this in my collection at all, and I'm a bit nervous to actually use it. So this is almost like a little vial of blood. If you open it up, and it's a cheek stain and lip stain. I'm going to try and wear it on my cheeks today um, on camera. I'm just hoping it's not going to move my foundation or my powder around too much because I've already powdered, but we'll see how that goes. Don't know if I'd have bought that on its own, but it's part of the set. So I'm going to use it, of course, and try it out today. And we've got the brushes, which the attention to detail on these brushes. Oh my word, it's amazing. Just look at the detail on that brush. It's incredible. So that one is the needle brush. And it's going to be a small packing brush. I didn't use it today. I will use them though, so I need to, to do that. I just forgot when I did the eye look that I did, but if I do some more eye looks, I will use that. This is Jon Snow's dagger there. And that one's more of a, a fluffy brush. I've not even taken it out of the container. I guess it, it could be used as a, a bigger packing brush, but it has got a fluffy top to it. And I've used Urban Decay's brushes a lot, but I've got the Pro brushes. Uh, I haven't used the ones of this type, so I'll be interested to see how good they are because they are quite expensive. If you buy these on their own, I think they were in the £20 and upwards mark for one brush. But they're such a collector's piece. If you love the show, you, you're going to be buying them for that more than anything else, I think. You've got the lipsticks. I'll just pop all of those out so I can show you. So the first shade we've got there is White Walker. Beautiful packaging again. That's the shade. I'll swatch these out later and then I'll choose one to go with the, the eye look that I've done today so that you can see at least one of them in action. And if I do some more looks, I'll pair it with the others. Next shade is Sansa Stark. And that's a sheer formula. That's the shade for that one. Then we've got a metalised one, which is Cersei Lannister. Cersei. That's that one. It's a bronzy metallic. And the last one I think is my favourite. Today is Targaryen. And that one again is a metalised. But just look at that colour. Absolutely stunning. And then we've just got the eyeliners. Just pop those out and show you. This one's Winterfell Snow. That's the colour of that one, so white. Then we've got the Night King. Which is a beautiful blue shade. We've got Lannister Gold. Which has the name to this. Is a gold shade. And Dragon Smoke, which I think is the one I'll probably use the most. I'm not quite sure what colour this is going to come off, but it looks like a dark grey smoky colour. We'll see, I'll need to swatch that out and see exactly what shade that will come out. Okay guys, so now you've seen everything in the vault collection, I'm just going to cut away to some footage of me doing this eye look here. It's a voiceover tutorial, hope you enjoy it. and. Once we've done that, then I'll catch back up with you and we'll choose a lip colour because I've not got lips on or blush or highlight from the collection just to finish off today's look. Okay, to start off the look, I'm going in with Weirwood Leaves and I'm blending that into my crease. As you can see, I've got tape on the corners of my eyes, which is a thing that I often do because I'm not very good at keeping the lines straight if I don't do that so it just makes things a lot more easy to do and I'm really 
packing that colour on but blending as I go to try and get a really deep crease going before I do anything else to the look. Then I'm going in with the shade Nymeria on a fluffy blending brush, a bit smaller than the brush I used before and just blending out the edges with a really really light hand. I didn't want too much of this colour. Uh, a darker colour can become a lighter colour if you're really light handed with it and that's what I wanted here because I'm trying to keep myself just to that one section of the palette. Now I'm just cutting the crease with the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. I'm just going to be doing a half cut crease in this look so only going to about the middle of my lid and just above my natural crease line so that you can actually see the cut crease when my eyes are open. Just patting that out with my fingertips and then going in with the shade The Sight. Beautiful green shade and because the concealer was still a bit tacky this is laying down really nice and pigmented over the top of that. Just perfecting that and making sure I've got it how I want it. And then back in with the shade Weirwood Leaves just to darken up the outer corner. And then going in with Winterfell, which is the gold transformer shade, the circle pan in the palette in that section. And then I've just taken that on the very inner corner and then I'm tracing the outline of the cut crease part of the look with glitter. And then going back in with Weirwood Leaves on my lower lash line on a very small detailed brush because I wanted to keep that very close to the lash line to just meet up with the line that we've created. And just highlighting my inner corners with the shade Winterfell and perfecting the lower lash line to finish the look. Okay, so you've seen the eye look being completed. As I say, I've only used the Winterfell section, so just this section here to do this look. If you want to see looks using any of the others, then I'd absolutely love to do it. I was thinking of doing a three looks, one palette with the other sections. So one with this section, this section and this section. And challenge myself to just use those sections. The one thing I would say about the palette now, I haven't used it and I've only used obviously that section. There was only one matte in there. Uh, didn't use the Winter Is Here shade at all in the look, which is the brown. Uh, but this shade, which is Weirwood Leaves, and this shade, the green, which is called The Sight, they are like a satin. If you're familiar with Urban Decay's formula, you'll know their shimmers are like that. They're like a thin sort of formula, but you can blend them in the crease, which is exactly what I've done here. And I don't have any problems shearing them out. So I know a lot of people give criticism to Urban Decay saying, oh, there's a lack of mattes in their palettes. But I think you can make all of the colours work in your crease, or I certainly can, and without too much problem. And I wouldn't say I'm the greatest at blending or anything, so I can make them work. So I think this section might be challenging though, because it's all really pale colours. So I might, might have struggles getting a, a look out of that completely on its own, because I do like to darken up like my outer corners and whatever, but it will be fun to have a go. And I think this particular section is the one that's calling my name. I absolutely love the shades in there. Another thing that people have said is that it's not as colourful as perhaps they might have wanted. Um, but I've seen other reviews of this and I have to agree. When I've seen people's reviews and seen pictures, it just doesn't translate to when you actually get it. It's breathtaking when you open it. And I can't stress that enough. If you're considering it and don't think that the colours are, are bright enough or whatever, give it a chance. Um, maybe just pick up the palette. You can get the palette on its own for, in the UK, £45. Okay, so moving on to the other products then. So we need to decide if we're going to use this one. So the, the cheek stay. We've got to have a go, haven't we? It could completely ruin my my look but let's just do it and see what happens so I thought what I'd do is just apply a, a bit of it onto a beauty blender just a very tip of it onto a beauty blender I might just try some on the back of my hand but I'm really nervous about this as you can tell uh, it's not that pigmented at all you can barely see it now I've done that 
I'm not quite so scared now. I thought it was going to be out and out like bright red food colouring or something, but... Mm. And with the beauty blender you can barely see it. Right, I've just put some on the back of my hand. Just going to tap it on my cheeks. Not a fan. Don't think I'm a fan of this. I'm not really a a liquid blush of her sort, and it is giving a nice, nice glow, and you can build it up, which is good, and it isn't messing too much with my foundation, which is also good because I'd already powdered. So it could be worse. Maybe once I've practiced with it a little bit more and sort of got the hang of how to do it, it might be better. Do you know what, now I've, now I've got it on. I'm just gonna see if I can just blend it in a bit more with a beauty blender. Which is not my preferred way to do anything on my face. I don't really use beauty blenders very much at all, but I can't see it working with a brush. Okay. Hmm, it's on. It doesn't look too bad. Right. If you're thinking of just getting this, and I don't know if it's available on its own, I don't think it's the standout in the collection or something that you absolutely need, but I think it fits the collection well. It's obviously meant to be like a vial of blood, so it, it does work with like the show and how it's intended I guess. I'm going to use this brush, so the Tapered Highlighter by Sigma to do my highlight and I'm going to go for the middle shade because I don't think the pink shade's going to match with my look so I'm going to go for this one. Let's see what happens. Wow. There's a lot picking up on that brush. Oh wow. I don't think you guys will be able to see what I'm seeing on camera because... I think the studio lights are kind of washing that out. I'm just going to see if I put the, the lights down somewhat, that's probably better. And you can see... It's pretty glowy and although it is quite gold I think I can get away with it and I am pretty pale I mean I'm MW13 in MAC so pretty light I think this is going to be one of these ones a bit like the Anastasia and Reezy highlight where it's kind of good for a lot of different skin tones it's that sort of a goldy colour that a lot of people can wear. So I can understand why they put it in here. It's not as dark as it looks like in the pan at all. I really like that. Yeah, I really like that. It's really glowy, really pretty. Really like that. Okay, so it's just the lipsticks now. So... I've already had a think about it and I think I'm going to go for the wearable option with this one. So I'm going to go for Sansa Stark because I've gone quite dark and smoky with the eyes. So I thought I might just just go with, the, with this one. So that's the lip colour. It's one of the sheer formulas, so to get the pigment to show up, particularly on me because I'm quite pale, I need to really build it up. I think that colour would suit someone with a bit deeper complexion than me, actually. 
um, but I do like it and I think it would be quite nice as almost a glossy topper over other colours as well. So uh, I'm going to just swatch out the other lipstick colours just on my arm so that you can see them because they often translate totally differently. I've got a sheer one from Urban Decay that looks really scary in the, the tube. It's a Oh, like a cherry colour, I can't remember the name of it, but when it's on your lips, it's not nearly as frightening as it looks. So, so we'll do this one first, Cersei Lannister, which is the bronze metallised one. So that's the, the colour for that one. Really like that, actually. It's like a bronze eyeshadow that I've got so I think I can make that work with something really good and white walker which is the comfort matte if anyone knows me from Instagram you'll know that this sort of shade is a Debbie shade for sure stunning absolutely stunning shade I kind of wish I'd worn that one with this look now, but it might have been too much. And then we've got Daenerys Targaryen, which is the red metallised formula. Oh, that one's pretty as well. I'm not really going to get in these swatches into focus, they probably look terrible. But you get the idea, I think, of the, the shade there. And it's like a corally, sparkly red. It's really different. To, so this is it in the tube. But that's it swatched out, the one at the bottom. So it's not nearly as scary if you're thinking about picking this up and you think it's perhaps too red or too metalised. It really doesn't look as metalised as that. But as I say, what I thought I'd do is do a three looks one palette, but use the lipsticks with the looks. So use the three lipsticks I haven't used, pair them with the, the looks I've used each of them at least once. And also tie in some of the pencils as well so you can see what they look like. Oh, the pencils. Let me just swatch those out so you can see what they look like as well. So we've got Winterfell Snow, the first one. I'll do those. Where shall I do those? Do this on my hand. Ooh. Ooh. Now that one's interesting. It's like your typical inner corner highlight colour. Is that coming off? Can you see it? Very creamy formula. Then we've got the Night King. Oh, that one's nice. In that one that one's really pretty then we've got Lannister gold that one's an interesting shade if I'd have tried these before that would have made an interesting inner corner highlight in fact I might, I might just do that just to see Yeah, that works. That is really, really nice. That's how I would use a colour like that, I think. I've got their gold shade called Gold Mine, and it's a completely different um, hue to it than that one. That one's a lot more gold than this one. And um, this one's got a bit more of a silver gold, if that makes sense. Probably doesn't. Then the last one, Dragon Smoke, one that I thought I'd probably like the best. Let's see what colour that actually is. Oh, it's a smoky grey, but it has got a bit of iridescence to it, which probably won't come off on camera because I just can never get these swatches into focus, but let's back one up there. So I already know that I love their pencils. Probably wouldn't have bought all four of them if I was buying them separately. I think the standouts for me are the gold shade because I know exactly how I'll use that. And I also quite like to do a, a gold or silver uh, winged liner as well and I know these work for that I've done that before 
uh, and the smoky black one and the blue one I probably wouldn't have bought the white one but I need to play with that more I think that could be a good inner corner highlight one or like a base to pack your inner corner highlight over so if you're planning to get it I know if you're in the States uh, it's being released again on the 29th which if I get this up when I plan to today's the 28th so you should be able to see it either today or tomorrow so you should be able to watch this if you get a chance to watch it um, before deciding whether you want to pick it up but I wouldn't sleep on it if you want these um, these items they're going to sell out and I doubt there'll be a restock so because the show's coming to an end with this series uh, as I say I will link my Urban Decay collection video in the cards for you if I haven't done already and you know if you've got any interest in collections like this and you're a massive collector like I am I urge you to go and watch it there's some amazing palettes I've bought out over the years and this is one of the best I've done in absolutely ages in my opinion sound off in the comments guys have you got any Urban Decay stuff do you like things like this that they bring out or do you prefer more the the naked collections and and you know the more wearable stuff that they bring out but either way you know it's nice to see them do something that the fans are really clamoring to get and that's you know bringing some interest to the brand again so that wraps it up for me i think so i've shown you all the products please let me know um what you think of them whether you'd like to see the three looks one palette i'm probably going to be doing the looks anyway and filming them and then i'll kind of decide whether i'll put it up or not whether anyone wants to see because I know there's been a lot of videos already done on this collection so you know people that got it in PR and whatever have done looks way before I've done mine but, but if you want to see it let me know but other than that hope you're having a fab weekend guys and I'll catch you in the next one bye